This is Premiere Cuts. Today we will learn how to create this sort of glowy nostalgic effect. This type of effect is a trend in music videos lately, especially in any of the memory flashback scenes. We should get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that your project box is highlighted. You want to go to File, you want to click New, scroll down to Adjustment Layer, and just click OK. So now that you've done that, just click on your adjustment layer and you want to just drag it on top of your clip. Make sure it's covering the whole base of the clip there and just zoom in your timeline so you can see what you're doing. That's perfect. Now, the next thing you want to do is click on your adjustment layer, make sure it's highlighted and you want to go to your project bin which is on the left, click on effects and type in Gaussian Blur. Now this effect is what we're going to be using to create this glow onto this video. So you just want to drag that onto your adjustment layer. Now as you can see, we've got the effect controls on the left hand side. So these are all the controls we're going to be using to create this effect. So you can see here, Gaussian Blur is right there. It's got blurriness, it's got blur dimensions. We're going to be moving the blurriness to create this effect. As you can see, it's getting more blurry there. But with this effect, in my opinion, you're not going to want a lot of blur. Now, the reason why I say that is because it's a glow effect. So you still want to see what's going on with your effect. OK, now, as I increase the blur, you can see around the image, it's got these borders, these black borders. But if I actually click on repeat edge pixels, it gets rid of them. So as you can see, they're there when I untick them and when I click the box, you know, the borders are gone, which makes the effect stand out a little bit more. So if we go to opacity and we change that from 100% to 50%, it's going to give it more of a glow. And, you know, if you increase the blurriness really high, it's not going to blur out your whole image. Now, if you click on blend mode, you can choose from the options. You've got screen, you've got color dodge, you've got overlay, all of them different options. You can create a different vibe of your effect if you want it darker, if you want it lighter. All of them options there are actually really good if you want to, you know, have fun with your effect and make things stand out in a particular way. But for now, I'm going to stick with normal just to make sure that glow is how I want it. Another thing you can do with this effect, which is pretty cool, just by clicking on color, which is at the top with all the bars, you've got effects, editing, click on color. And on the right hand side, you've got all these tools, which like I said, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, you can actually edit your image and change it, you know, towards the way you want it to look. Um, if you want more exposure, which will, you know, bring more of a glow there. You can also, you know, move the temperature from cold to warm if you want to make it more of a cold look or if you want more of a warm tinted look. Um, you can do loads of things with this, um, but for today, for me, I'm not going to be moving that around too much. I'm quite happy with the way it looks. So if we go back to our timeline, we click back on editing. On our timeline, you can see the adjustment layer is on V2. Now there is an eye symbol. If we toggle that, you can see the video without the effect. So you can actually see what you've done to your video if you want to actually look back at your effect and you want to make any changes you can toggle that eye symbol and you can go a step ahead and drop in another lumetri on our footage and use our retina LUTs which is part of our color grading assets a collection of 39 masterful palettes divided into three genres Today, however, I'll be demonstrating the use of one LUT, which is from the Nor Green category, Spicker LUT. And immediately, you can see a smoothing warm green touch. And you can actually add more to enhance the nostalgia using our Film Grain 4K Pro overlay assets. Because any nostalgic aesthetic is incomplete without film grains. Today I'll be only using our 35mm dirt and scratch film grain overlay. Drop it above and you might have to rescale it a bit. And set it to overlay.
And if you want to go extra, you can also try adding sounds from our Solaris SFX library, a curated 500 plus sound files collection. We'll be adding a sound from our retro category, hits, fantasy, and number one. Just drag and drop and you're done. Now, let's have a look at it. All of these little additions, they really sell the effect and this is what it looks like. So this is how we create this glowy, nostalgic effect, basically sending your editing skills to the next level using our products. All of the links are below. Subscribe here for more tutorials and exciting free giveaways and follow us on Instagram at premiercuts.store. Until we meet again, we'll see you in the next video.